just as Jesus died and has risen again. So through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. And as in Adam all die, so also in Christ will all be brought to life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us now prepare ourselves let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, and as our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened, so may our hope of resurrection for your departed servants also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God and no torment shall touch them. They seemed in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace, for if before men indeed they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them. And as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil. You are with me. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me, he refreshes my soul. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, Fear no evil, for you are with me. He guides me in the right paths.
for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, fear no evil, for you are with me. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. For I walk in the valley of darkness, fear no evil, for you are with me. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, you are with me. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you aware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. For if we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that one, we know that our old self was crucified with him, so that our sinful body might be done away with, that we might no longer be in the slavery to sin. For a dead person who has been absolved from sin, if then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord.
Jesus said to the crowds, Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Because I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of the one that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. When I was a new priest in the year 2009, I got a call from my family. From this family, um, there was a deaf lady named Mary who needed anointing. She was close to death. Her mom was an interpreter. She was a coda, which means a child of a deaf adult. So I went with Father Jeremy and we said the prayers and she was struggling to breathe. And her eyes were closed and it seemed she was unaware of our prayers. So we continued to pray. But when we got to the litany of the saints saying, various saints' names and everyone responding, pray for us. When we get to St. Joseph, pray for us. At that moment, her eyes opened up and she signed St. Joseph. It's interesting. Later, as we continued to pray, we got to the Our Father and then she signed the Our Father but about halfway, oh, excuse me, interpreter error. We, as we were signing the Our Father, about halfway through, she woke up and started praying the Our Father with us. She had always grown up as a faithful woman all her life. She was faithful, and she was a glorious soul inside, full of hope. And she was fully ready to accept death, just like Jesus on the cross. He accepted death. Because he knew the Father's will. It was just like Mary. She knew the Father's will by faith. And her faith made her strong. It made her shine brightly. It was a beautiful death. Now, Saint Joseph's name caused her to wake up. Why? Because, well, later on we found out she was going to be buried at Saint Joseph's Cemetery. You never know how God can communicate through people. It's amazing. It was very inspiring. shows that all of us who have faith, who, who pray fervently, who go to Mass, that we have a strong faith within us that will help us to know God more and more, to understand His will more and more, and set in such a way that it's impossible to imagine life without Him. In our first reading, from the Book of Wisdom, it 
Wright says that foolish people <clears throat> are unaware and that they're wrong. People who have faith are ready and accepting. They are like gold in the furnace. Strong. Gold itself is shiny. And that shows faith shining through. As we look back to all the members of our families who have died, to all the great list of people and of friends that we know who have died, we have to remember that they're depending on our prayers to support them to get home safely. I experienced in this past year a lot of unexpected death, uh, deaths, especially among young people. One deaf man I know who died was 21 years old and died unexpectedly. He was hit by a car. It was a hit and run. So you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. But that helps us to get through with faith. It also helps us to live every day serving God and serving our neighbor. That love and that faith helps us to live in God's presence, to know his will, and to be to have that love even through death, hoping in the resurrection. And we pray that all the souls of the faithful departed for whom we pray today will help us to accept our own death and have hope in the resurrection. God is powerful. Let us pray. For the Pope's monthly intention that the Church, ever faithful to and courageous in preaching the Gospel, may be a community of solidarity, fraternity, and welcome always living in an atmosphere of synodality. We pray to the Lord. For Bishop Sean, that we support him generously as he asked us to by participating in the Catholic appeal. We pray to the Lord. For our military, we pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and in distress in any way, especially those listed in the bulletin, we pray to the Lord. Today we pray for all the faithful departed. We pray to the Lord. Father, we thank you for hearing all the prayers we offer. Answer them according to your will. In the name of Jesus, amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servants may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him, the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful, Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord the god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, Cardinal Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, all, remember your servants whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, conformed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. Speak only say the word, my soul shall be healed. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, even though he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die.
let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your departed servants, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God bow down for the blessing. May the God of all consolation bless you, for in his unfathomable goodness he created the human race and in the resurrection of his only begotten Son has given believers the hope of rising again. Amen. To us who are alive, may God grant pardon of our sins and to all the dead a place of light and peace. Amen. So may we all live happily forever with Christ, whom we believe truly rose from the dead. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth. The Mass has ended. Thanks be to God. St. Jude Novena Prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O glorious Apostle, St. Jude Thaddeus, true relative of Jesus and Mary, I salute you through the most sacred heart of Jesus. Through this heart, I praise and thank God for all the graces he has bestowed upon you. Humbly prostrate before you, I implore you through this heart to look down upon me with compassion. O oh, despise not my poor prayer, let not my trust be confounded. To you, God has granted the privilege of aiding mankind in the most difficult cases. O oh, come to my aid that I may praise the mercies of God. In all my life, I will be grateful to you and will be a faithful client until I can thank you in heaven. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. St. Jude, help of those in difficulties, aid me in my distress. Pray for us that we before death may expiate all our sins by sincere repentance and the worthy reception of the Holy Sacraments. Pray for us that we may appease the divine justice and obtain a favorable judgment. Pray for us that we may be admitted into the company of the blessed to rejoice in the presence of our God forever. Most holy apostle Saint Jude Thaddeus, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered our beloved master in the hands of his enemies, has caused you to be forgotten by many. But the church honors and invokes you universally as the patron of difficult cases. Pray for me, make use, I implore you, of the particular privilege accorded to you to bring visible and speedy help where there is almost despair. Come to my assistance in this great need that I may receive the consolation and aid of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings, particularly. And that I may bless God with you and all the elect throughout eternity. I promise you, O blessed Jude, 
to be ever mindful of this great favor, and I will never cease to honor you as my special and powerful patron and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. St. Jude Thaddeus, pray for us and for all who invoke your aid. 